How many people are keeping up their 20 minutes of meditation every day? What's this mean? This is like... <laughs> means like 18 minutes. Okay, it's really important that if you want to learn meditation, you only can learn it by doing it. You can't learn it by coming here or by listening to me. I will give you information, but you know, in honesty, that information is available on YouTube, it's available in books that you can download for free. It's not hard to come by. So the, the real idea of coming here, the advantage of coming here, is that you join together with other people and actually make that determination to sit down and do it. 20 minutes a day shouldn't be too much. If you don't have 20 minutes a day free, then you need to do at least half an hour because you're very busy. <laughs> So the busier, busier you are, the more meditation you should be doing or the more opportunities to do the meditation you should try and get hold of. In my uh, younger days, I was a manager in a jazz club. Not the kind of place that you would think of doing meditation. And in those days, the temple was quite a long way away, four hour drive to the nearest temple from me. And there was no YouTube and no internet. Sometimes we would record talks on tapes. And then, I think most of you here will probably remember, you have to put two tapes in the tape deck and press play and press record at the same time. And every copy you made kind of deteriorated in quality. It was hard to come by. And so I was working in this jazz club and I didn't get chance to have much connection with the monastery, much connection with other meditators. In South Manchester at that time, there was no meditation groups. And so I would have to find little ways to keep it alive by myself. And one of the ways I found was we, were, we would sell beer in jugs. It was a classy establishment. And <laughs> when you'd put the jug of beer underneath the beer tap, and unusually, our beer tap was on the back wall, so you'd have to turn your back to the customers to fill the jug full of beer. And usually in a bar, you would have the beer tap on the front so you can interact with the customer. Fortunately, we didn't do that. <laughs> And to fill the jug full of beer took eight seconds. And every time I sold a jug of beer, I would get this eight seconds of peace. Just eight seconds, and then I'll be off selling the, um, you know, working again. And just that eight seconds, just to remember meditation, just for a few seconds, totally transformed my experience of the whole evening. In the same way, our classy establishment didn't have any bathrooms and you'd have to walk over the road to the up restaurant opposite for the bathroom. And so before service, I would go over to the bathroom. There's a row of about four bathrooms and a little corridor in front of the four bathrooms. And if nobody was there, I would just do my walking meditation up and down in front of the bathroom. And then if anybody comes, I could pretend I was just walking in or I was just walking out. <laughs> just that moment, 10, 15 minutes that I would have in between setting up for the evening and be before people would start to come, usually around 5.30 to 6.30, I would get 10, 15 minutes. Just to stop and return my attention home it was just the most beautiful thing. So, the busier you get, the more you have going on, well, you need to get more inventive uh, in order to be able to find that kind of space where you can stop. If not really doing meditation, just remembering it. 
is enough. Just that breaking the cycle of the mind flowing outwards. If you can interrupt that cycle, the more often you interrupt that cycle, the more often your attention is returning home. So, in coming here, the idea is that you do a minimum of 20 minutes every day. Can you all do that? Some people not nodding. Can you all do that? Yes. And see, see what happens. I'm not asking you to recite ancient formulas or bow to statues or have different kinds of beliefs or this is you yourself that you are investigating. It's not some dogma, it's not something that's imposed on you. It's bringing your attention to you yourself. And then see, see what happens after that after this seven weeks is up, then you stop for a while and see, well, did it change me in some way? Do I want to carry on with it? Or do I not want to carry on with it? Some people may do a period of time and then, you know, lose interest. That's okay. Uh, not everybody is going to have the interest and the time and the attention to become a real meditator. Uh, today is Maga.